say, is Joe Biden day tomorrow? Oh, yeah, that's right. I live alone. Forgot about that. Ah, oh, white people, am I right, folks? So I was, you know, I was uh, chilling at the cafeteria, per usual. Getting some breakfast, you know, get the eggs. Get the bacon that, for some reason, tastes like goddamn candy corn. I don't know what the f what I don't know what they're putting in that stuff, but uh, I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. So, anyways, I'm, you know, I'm like I'm like getting a little curious because uh, you know I've been through a few of the forest paths and path path paths near my school. Sorry, I just can't English today. Unfortunately, Cambridge was not my graduating school. But yeah, long story short. I decided to go on a walk through the forest because you know what could go wrong. What could go? What could go wrong? You know, and nothing did go wrong. But I saw some pretty interesting things that I think are pretty noteworthy. And also, I'm not done fully exploring yet, so I'm gonna have to make a part two to this video if I do in fact go exploring there again. Winter is a coming, and I don't think the weather's getting any better. It's been said it's gonna rain like for this entire week, so. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it does, I'll update the video. So, yeah. Anyways, it's just pretty standard for us. It's a nice, it's a nice walk, you know. I started off, you know, I went down the little path they had. They had a cute little sign there. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, that's just, that's just beautiful. So, I go to the left. That goes to the, um, the residential area. And it's a really cool path. There's like, <laughs> fucking voice crack, man. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, I, I can't focus. All right. But there's a, a cool path. You know, they got the stream with water. I saw a bunch of ducks, just chilling, and I was like, oh damn. They got they got the ducks out here. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty neat. And I didn't see any fish though, but that comes later, in my adventures here. So I just you know, basically. Moving my way through the forest, and I pop out into the residential area, predictably. And then, um, yeah, then I just, you know, decide to loop back around and go back into the forest because I wanted to check out the right side. So nothing wor noteworthy really happening on the left side, you know. It's pretty chill. It's a residential area. You're not going to find anything too surprising there. Now, mind you, this was like, I was planning to go do some streaming, which, by the way, twitch.tv slash TV. go check it out. Call of Duty Cold War Beta dropped, I think, that day. And so, basically, I was trying to get, get on that shit pronto. So I had to make sure I was back by a certain time, but, you know, I still had plenty of time. I think it released on the store at, like, 1 EST, so I was good. Had plenty of time. So I went back, looped around, went to the right side, and saw some different shit. Like, let me tell you, <laughs> this was some interesting stuff right here that I found. And I, I, I want to say I'm surprised that I found this, but shockingly, no. It wasn't very surprising that you'd find stuff like this. So you had basically just a regular trail. You know, no, nothing too unusual, right? Then you get a little bit deeper into the forest. And then you come across the wacky stuff. Like, they had, um, first thing I came across was this big bonfire, right? Beer bottles, beer cans, all that stuff. And I'm like, well, if they say they're having a party, party or something, or if the upper year students say they're having a party, and they say, if you know, you know, then I guess I do know now where that shit's taking place. But it was interesting, you know? They also had this thing where they, like, took the glass beer bottles and, like, surprisingly got up really high on a tree and hung them on the the branches like the little stump i don't know what it like a chipped off branch from a from a tree and they just slid slid the bottle like on top of that it's hard to describe because it's such a weird thing but i thought it was pretty impressive how they got all the way up to like damn near the middle point of the tree that was a pretty it was a pretty tall tree too so yeah found that to be pretty interesting but moving on things only get wackier from there as I'm traversing through the forest, it's looking like Dark Souls out here with the amount of fires I'm finding. Like, I just came across that one bonfire with the beer bottles and stuff, and now I came across another bonfire. 
I don't even think these are bonfires that I'm coming across, just re regular fire pits. But I came across another one. This one seemed to be like a fishing spot, so I, f I, I, I fucked with whoever was at that spot on the regular, because you know me and fishing. I've never done it, but I live and die by the pro bass shop, you know what I'm saying, so. But anyways, I keep going. My goal it was pretty simple that day. I wanted to reach the road. Because there was like um, a little path for... I was trying to get my runs in, right? And I wanted to switch up the path because I've been, I've been using the same path for like... What has it been? Like a month now? So I wanted to switch it up. So I was scouting out a new path. So I wanted to see if this forest went to the road. Or connected in any way. So I kept moving forward to where I thought the road was. And, um, did I see anything else? I don't think I saw anything else very noteworthy. There were some pretty steep, like, hills. Like, if you made a misstep, you'd probably tumble down, looking like a Looney Tunes cartoon character, just tumbling down the hill into the water. I mean, but other than that, there wasn't really much on the way there. Now, when I got to the road in question, it was elevated so that the, there was no way any path that I was currently on would have reached it right so like i'd probably have to find another route to get onto the road but there was a little path on in the tall grass that went under the bridge and through that and that's where i said okay i'm not properly dressed for this right now so let me come back later with the proper equipment and then we can continue continue this little scavenger hunt here and i also oh yeah then i saw the fishes the big old the big old bass i don't think they were bass but they're like the fish you'd see in the Mandarin, like the little, except they were just discolored and they, they, they were just chilling there, you know? They kind of startled me at first because they started whacking their tail out of nowhere and I was like, God damn, look at what the hell is going on over here? The water becomes sentient or something? No, no, no. The fish was just chilling. And I don't really know what they do. And maybe they were mating or something and I just walked in on them having sex, but oh well, sucks for them. Y'all motherfuckers need to learn to get a room if that's the case. So yeah, and then I decide, okay, well, there was this trail that sort of went off from the beaten path, so I'm gonna go check that out. This is where things get a little shifty. So I think it was, I thought what the trail was, was it led into the upper year residence's backyard area type of deal, right? I was completely wrong and way off in my assumption. I must have been wandering around there for like damn near half of my excursion that there because it was like a little maze of trees that i was really having trouble traversing i mean this shit was literally like a goddamn maze i almost got lost had i not had my expert cartography skills i probably would have damn near just been lost in that forest forever and starved to death so but yeah um a few things i saw another fire Two of them, actually. One was just in the, this open area in the maze sort of section. And then there was another one that was a little bit later on where I thought I was on the right path, but turned out it was just a dead end. But there was this big little fire they had going on, and they had like a little bridge sort of set up where it was like, um, like they elevated the ground with sticks and stones and stuff like that. And it, it was, it was pretty, pretty nice, pretty crafty work on that. I'll give them, whoever set that up, I'll give them that. It was pretty damn crafty, but... You'd have to trek out pretty far to actually find this one. But I found it, so. Weird thing I found was, like, clothing. For some reason, there was just, like, cl a cluster of just dusty old clothing in the middle. Just not even anywhere near any of those campfires. Just in the middle of nowhere. Right? These things had to be, like, old as shit. So no one came back for them. And I'm like, is a dude, is this some dude coming around starting a clothing collection here or something? Because I, I, I gotta let him know that it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of crusty over here. I, I, I looked at it and even from a glance, you could see that holy shit, this, this clothing is deteriorating pretty quickly. So, and I, I found that to be pretty weird. But now, nah, other than that, it was just, it was a pretty interesting time. I'm not done exploring, of course. I still have to go into that underbridge area. I don't know if I'll have the balls to do that one, I'm gonna be honest. Tall grass got me fucked up. I don't know if I'm ready for that conversation, but until then... <laughs> until then, I'm, I don't know, I need the weather to clear up. For this. 
next forest excursion. But yeah, white people like myself doing stupid white people shit that could get them killed. I mean, I'm just out here doing fella things, you know? What can I say? I'm that cracker. I've been out here. Anyways, though, that's the end of the video. If you made it this far, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We almost at 25. I was going to say 25K. I was about to laugh my ass off. Like, oh, yeah, we, we, we damn close to 25K. Totally. Totally. But one step at a time. One subscriber at a time. We can make it. As brothers, as a community, so I, I implore you, subscribe, like the video, visit my Twitch, I'm gonna be streaming, I don't know when, so just make sure to follow, cause you, you gotta get the notification when I'm streaming, otherwise, I'm, I don't know, I don't have a schedule for this stuff, but, anyways, take it easy, and I'm out of here.